how do people trust each other? It's not about how does somebody stay in somebody else's home. It's how do we get through that stranger danger? So at Airbnb, we have a strong community. We have 100 million members who care about the world. They're already willing to say, I'm willing to find the other and, and understand who they are. We started getting messages after Hurricane Sandy People wanted to open up their rooms. And we realized that Airbnb is not just a platform for sharing your home for financial reasons. It's a platform to share your home for social reasons. In the next 30 years, we're going to see upwards of 325 million refugees. And we need to come up with today's solutions for tomorrow's problems. Three days before the Super Bowl, we heard that there was a 30-second spot available. When that Super Bowl ad ran, you were directed to a page. You could either donate to, to these organizations in need, or you can list your home. Within that 30-second spot, 16,000 families signed up. The most surprising thing was 40% of those people weren't on Airbnb and had never tried Airbnb. And so there's a potential to build a network that will allow us to help those greatest in need. But we realized for the first time ever, this is the first year that refugees are actually more scared of Americans than Americans are scared of refugees. So we have to figure out a way how do we tackle the biases. So we built a site called Supper With Us, and we asked hosts to open up their homes to refugees that had never had Thanksgiving. And within seven days, 400 people met, sat down, broke bread. We had all these cities that you said were deep red states were actually deeply sympathetic families who cared about those coming in. And then we got these letters. This is a letter from Linda. Her parents were so enamored by this family that they went back to their retirement home and they wrote this letter to everyone in the retirement home called Abdul the Mensch, saying that refugees are not a burden on our society. They're the most hardworking people and they're gonna give so much to our country that we need to accept them. This is somebody that 14 days ago had voted the anti-immigrant ticket. So we realized that by opening up the tables, people can begin to have shared learning together. To be a host is universal, but the reality is we need to create a society of welcomers beyond opening up your homes for financial reasons. We need to create welcomers for social reasons. Let's begin to look at these big systemic issues we've never tackled properly with the power of we.